Deploying a Django application to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. AWS Elastic Beanstalk provides an easy way for you to deploy and manage your applications in the AWS cloud. You simply upload your application, and Elastic Beanstalk automatically handles the details of capacity provisioning, load balancing, scaling, and application health monitoring. Elastic Beanstalk allows you to spend more time on developing your application and less time on manually maintaining your AWS infrastructure. Elastic Beanstalk supports Java, PHP, .NET, Ruby, and of course, Python applications. In this video, you'll learn how to set up a local Python development environment, install and configure EB, deploy a Django application to Elastic Beanstalk, and configure the Django administrative site. Before you begin, you should have an AWS account, have your AWS security credentials handy, which you can obtain from your AWS account page at portal.aws.amazon.com forward slash GP forward slash AWS forward slash security credentials, and optionally create an EC2 key pair using the Amazon EC2 console if you want to connect to your EC2 instance running in your AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment. Setting up a Python development environment. To set up a Python development environment, you need the following software. Python 2.6 and Python Devel, MySQL, MySQL Devel, GCC, Git, PIP, Virtual Env 1.7.2, in this demo, you use an Elastic Beanstalk command line tool, EB, to deploy your application. EB requires Python 2.7 or Python 3.0 for a Linux operating system. You can install the latest version of EB from aws.amazon.com forward slash Elastic Beanstalk. For detailed instructions on how to install this software, go to docs.amazonwebservices.com forward slash Elastic Beanstalk forward slash Django walkthrough. In addition, in this video, you install MySQL Python 1.2.3 and Django 1.4.1. In this step, you'll create a virtual environment, create a sample project site, and confirm that the Python server is functional. In this demo, we're using Amazon Linux, but you can do the same steps on other Linux operating systems and on Windows. First, let's create a virtual environment for our Django development. And then activate it. Next, you can install MySQL Python 1.2.3 and Django 1.4.1. Now you can create the project structure. You can verify that the development server is operating correctly by typing the following command. Be sure to stop the dev server before continuing by pressing Ctrl C. Freeze the requirements in a text file. Verify that your text file contains the lines of code you see here. Configuring the AWS Elastic Beanstalk command line tool, EB. In this step, you initialize your Git repository, set an alias for the EB command so that they're accessible anywhere on the command line, and initialize an Elastic Beanstalk environment by setting credentials, choosing a region, application name, and environment name, and configuring the Amazon RDS DB instance. Begin by initializing your Git repository. From the root MySite directory, type the following. Next, you create an alias for the EB tools. From the root of your project, root MySite, type the following command to initialize your Beanstalk application settings. This will guide you through a series of setup questions. Enter your AWS access key ID. When prompted for your AWS secret key, enter it. Next, select your preferred AWS region. For this demo, we're going to use Oregon, or US West 2. Elastic Beanstalk auto-generates an application name if you've not chosen one previously, but you can select your own name. 
Next, you're prompted for an environment name, also auto-generated, based on the name of your application. You can change it or press Enter to accept the default. Choose the appropriate application stack. In this case, we'll use 64-bit Amazon Linux running Python. When prompted to create an Amazon RDS database, enter Y. It's possible to create an RDS database from a previously saved version or snapshot. In this case, when we're asked whether to create an instance from a snapshot, choose No. Enter a master password, then again to confirm it. Elastic Beanstalk also asks you whether you want to create a snapshot of the database if the environment is terminated. It is a best practice to have a snapshot saved, otherwise you'll lose your data. However, since this is just a demonstration, choose No. Deploying a Django application to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Now you're ready to deploy a sample application to Elastic Beanstalk. In this step, You'll create an environment containing the default sample application provided by Elastic Beanstalk. Watch Elastic Beanstalk provision the AWS resources for you that will host the application. And deploy the application into the newly created environment using the application name you specified. Navigate to the root MySite directory where you created your local repository and type EB start. You'll see a series of progress messages at the command line as the various services are initialized. When complete, Elastic Beanstalk provides a URL for the application. Copy and paste this URL into your browser to see the success page. Now, update the default sample application to use the Django framework. In the root MySite directory, create the .eb extension subdirectory. Create a config file in the .eb extensions directory. Copy and paste the following lines into the file and save it. In the option settings, remember to replace the example EC2 key pair with your EC2 key pair if you have one. This code adds a database command, configures your Django settings, and provides a key pair to Elastic Beanstalk. Now navigate to root my site my site and edit the settings.py file to use the Amazon RDS DB instance we created. You can use existing OS environment variables to connect your RDS DB instance. Find the line that begins databases equals and update the lines as shown. Add the files to your Git repository, commit the change, and update the application using these commands. This time you won't see status messages after deploying changes. You can check the status of the application by entering this command, eb status dash dash verbose. Notice that this command reports that the status is listed as updating. You can also switch to the AWS Elastic Beanstalk console to see updates on the events tab in real time. When the process is complete, return to your browser and refresh the page to see the update. You can view CloudWatch statistics by switching to the AWS Elastic Beanstalk console and clicking the Monitoring tab for the application environment. CloudWatch provides a variety of pertinent statistics you can use to monitor the health of your application. For more information, see the AWS CloudWatch documentation online at aws.amazon.com forward slash documentation forward slash CloudWatch. Configuring the Django Admin Site In this step, you'll enable the Django Admin pages in the Settings file, set a static route for all static content, 
update the application page with a link to the admin site, and update the configuration file with commands to enable the admin site. Now configure the Django admin site by editing the root mysite mysite settings.py file as follows. Change the value of static root to create a static forward slash directory. Edit the root mysite mysite urls.py file to uncomment these four lines. Create a new file in the root mysite mysite directory called views.py. The following lines create a link to the Django administrative site. Navigate to the root mysite directory Create a new directory called scripts and then open the directory. Create a new file containing commands that initialize the Django admin site. Add the following lines to create the admin user's name, password, and permissions. Make the file executable by updating the permissions. Navigate to the .eb extensions directory and update the config file. Add the following lines to the file. Return to the project root directory, add the files to git, and then commit the changes. When the update is complete, switch to the application page in your browser and refresh the page. Clicking the hyperlink takes you to the login page for the Django admin area. Log in using admin for the username and password. If desired, you can change the password after logging in. You can also view the metrics gathered by CloudWatch by clicking the monitoring tab in the AWS Elastic Beanstalk console. Now that you're done with the application, you can shut it down and delete it to avoid accruing additional charges on your AWS account. Navigate to the project's top-level directory, root, my site, and type the following command, eb stop. Elastic Beanstalk reminds you that if you stop your application, the data in your RDS DB instance will be deleted. If you want to keep the data, you can create a snapshot of the RDS DB instance in the Amazon RDS console before continuing. When finished, enter Y to continue with the deletion. AWS Elastic Beanstalk displays status messages at the command line as it terminates each resource. You can keep the local application for future testing with the same version and configuration. However, if you want to remove it from your local machine, enter EB Delete. When prompted, enter Y to delete the application. To learn more about deploying Django applications in AWS Elastic Beanstalk, see the Deploying a Django Application to AWS Elastic Beanstalk topic in the AWS Elastic Beanstalk Developer Guide. To learn more about AWS Elastic Beanstalk, visit aws.amazon.com forward slash Elastic Beanstalk.